I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, Sage one will laugh. <clears throat> Let's duck that way. No, it's this shit that's pissing me off. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's um. It's like the anticipation, right? Address that later, but it's I'm definitely taking note of of that. That's wild, though. We'll talk about that later. If you if you're here, um, and you'd like to buy a badge, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hold on. I'd greatly appreciate it. Any badges purchased during this live, I'm going to give to uh, Botanical Yarns, who took us up on our newsletter offer as a way to help, um, help them replenish their damage recoup. or recoup their losses. So I never have this many people on a live to support me on a daily you know, basis, so clearly, you're all here to hear what we have to say about current events and, and what has transpired. So if you're going to be here to take in uh, what we're about to say and everything that we are um, sort of dealing with right now, if you're going to sit here and watch it and view it, I, I ask that you support by buying a badge so that I can give all of the, that badge money to uh, Botanical Yarns who took us up on our offer Um to do a newsletter. That was the only one so far. That's the only one we have so far. So I appreciate that. Um, oh, I'm trying not to sound hostile and it's not working. I mean, you all, have, it's, a, it's a very serious situation. There's, mm. there's no way of, there's no way to sugarcoat or hide the frustration about how things unfolded. Hmm. So. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, I want to talk about captions first. Um, somebody had mentioned captions um, in a video or a reel that we had posted prior. Uh, we weren't sure why captions were showing up in some of our posts and not others. So uh, if you do need captions, once we finish this live, we're gonna look and see if the captions show up. If the captions do not show up, we're going to download this live and repost it through an app that will let us put the captions on. So just give us you know, a few minutes once the live is over to get all of that situated. So those of you who need captions will be able to rewatch this and um, be able to see what it is we were saying with captions. So I just wanted to address that first. Um, so where the, where the fuck, where do we start? Where do you want to start? So let's start from, we have to go back because context is important, mm -hmm. right? So let's let's go back to Wolf Folk 2022. Mm -hmm. When we first sponsored that event, right? Because this this is this is the third year. 23 is the third year that the event went on. 22 was the was the second time that that event uh was hosted. Um and we were a sponsor for the Will of Folk event in 2022. A sponsor. We did not vend. We didn't have any yarn on the premises. We did not have a booth. 
we sponsored. Right. We always talk about community and doing for one another. And this seemed like it was going to be a great event. And we sponsored. Understand, we didn't sponsor because we wanted people to see us and us. Yeah, is that one of the things that comes with sponsorship? Absolutely. Logo placement and people knowing. But it was more of giving back to the community. We understand what this community has given to us. So if we can help in different ways, right, with causes of the quarters, with sponsorships to events where we can all gather and have quote unquote. Shit, you put it back. This buddy going up. Huh? Botanical. Uh, no, that's oh, not. No, that's, that's, oh, no, that's someone else. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're confusing your botanicals. Yeah. Um. We did it because we thought that this was going to be a great event for the community yeah. and we'd be able to go there and hang out with everyone. And basically, I I mean, I, I know a lot of us, you know, pardon anybody who's not religious, but like think church or a sanctuary for crafters. Right. Where we could all. So that is why we sponsored. And in full transparency, we also sponsored because uh, Felicia was our friend. And asked us if we'd like to sponsor. So we did. We sponsored and we showed up. We didn't have a booth. We didn't sell any yarn. Okay. So while we were at the event and doing, you know, walking around and anybody that was there, you know, we were present all over the place, right? Chatting with everybody, uh, meeting, greeting, ensuring everybody was having a good time. Um, we kept getting asked the question of, do y'all have any yarn here? Where's your yarn? I, I see you and Jimmy here. I see your brother. I see, you know, your, your, your people. Where's the yarn? And our answer was, well, we're not vending. We're just here as sponsors to put on for the community or help support the community. So we, we didn't bring any yarn with us. Right. So Fast forward, and we're going to keep on, there's, there's going to be a little bit of back and forth on this one, right? So that we can provide context. Um, so fast forward to 2023. We said, well, we're going to show up and support the community once again. We were asked if we could sponsor. We were asked if we and could I'm going to be transparent. Oh. I'm going to be transparent because a lot of y'all think Lola Bean Yarn Co., like we're Miss Mo Miss, Miss and Mr. Moneybags, Right. We didn't have it to sponsor this year. Understand, we just wrapped up a GoFundMe to help with our expansion. Did we have it? No. But you know what I said? I got a credit card here. I'm going to put it on this credit card and I'll work it off later. Right? So that's what I did. We paid our $2,500 sponsorship fee. We put it on a credit card because we wanted to support. We figured... The year before, right, it was a great event. There were some accessibility issues that were going to be fixed this year, right? So, so we thought, we were told with this new location. So we're going to sponsor again. And we're not going to vend. We're still not going to vend. But what we did do was... We reached out to our friends at Magpie Fibers because we remembered the year before, everybody wanted to know, where's your yarn? Where's your yarn? Where's your yarn? So I reached out to Magpie and I said, hey, you know, uh, you wonderful Magpies, would you like to place a wholesale order? Can I sell you a wholesale order? Mind you, wholesale. 50% <laughs> off retail. We lose money on. Right? So... We could easily sell it in our shop. But hey, since you're going to be vending, would you mind, you know, placing a wholesale order and having our yarn in your booth, right? So that way, when people ask, you know, do you have any yarn here? Do you have, they have a place to go get it if they want it. And Magpie graciously said yes. So again, we weren't, vending we did not have a booth we did not pay a vendor booth fee the only thing at this point that we put into this was the twenty five hundred dollar sponsorship 
right? We're clear on that. I hope we're clear on that. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. So, where we on? Where are we now? So we did that. You already talked about the accessibility issues from 22 that we were told were going to be different this time. Okay, so here's here's where things started to get really funky. Um, no, stay right there. Here's the thing. So then it was, would you mind doing the patio podcast? Podcast patio. Pod, whatever the fuck it's called. Would you mind doing it for free? No problem, right? Not a problem for us. We paid the $2,500 sponsorship fee. And now we're going to uh, do this, this podcast thing. Because if it's something that the people would enjoy and make the uh, event even better than it was, why not? Because again, we don't come out often. We don't come out often. This is a great way for us to come out, see the people that have supported us for so long, and to say thank you for supporting Lola Bean Yarn Co. So not only, are, exactly, we're not selling any yarn, we paid a sponsorship fee. We did not get paid, but full transparency. We knew this from the beginning. We did not get paid for the podcast patio. We paid to get to the event. We paid for somewhere to stay at the event. So show me where I'm making money. Right? So we said we would do the podcast patio or the patio podcast, whatever. Um... We had a Zoom about what all was going to transpire. Should have transpired. Or should have, excuse me. In that Zoom, we were given the times that we would be on. We were, t we were, we were, uh, the venue, the orchard was explained to us, right? We knew, I don't care about that. We knew about, you know, the, 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 this big, beautiful, um, venue that was supposed to be way better than the one before. And uh, what else did, did we talk about? That was really it. It was basically, this is, you know, this is going to be the venue. These are the times. We're going to have this bar. We're going to have food. We're going to, all of those things. And then we're going to have a second Zoom to talk about what you'll all be doing on the uh, podcast patio. Right? Second Zoom never happens. Instead, we get a video explaining, hey, I know we were supposed to have a Zoom, but there's a lot going on right now. So I figured I would give you guys information in this video. And if you have any questions, email. Uh, watch the video. Um, and again, in the video where the first Zoom it was, we're gonna have a second Zoom and they're gonna let us know what we're supposed to do. So now we get this video and in this video, it's like, okay, your times are still the same. You're going on at one, you're going on at two, you're going on at three, y'all can do whatever you want. Mind you, that was not what was agreed upon in the first conversation. $2,500 sponsorship donation. Traveling to and from the venue somewhere to stay, free appearance at the, the podcast thing, and now we have to create content. So, I say to Jimmy, I'm trying to think bigger picture. Bigger picture here. Yeah. Bigger picture here. We're doing this for our supporters, right? So uh, I put some, uh, I did a story, some of you may have seen it, where I said, if you had the chance or if you were sitting in front of uh, the LBYC team and Jackie um, and Amy of Katie Jack Knits, what, what's a question 
that you'd love to have answered. So now, right, I'm trying to, we get some questions. Uh, Lewis got some questions. This is all, fig trying to figure all this out. This is like, two, th no, this is the day before the event. We're trying to get questions and figure out what we're supposed to be doing up here, right? We get the questions. We get through the, uh, you know, podcast thing or whatever. Fine. I'm just telling you all of this stuff so that we are 100% clear that Lola Bean didn't get any preferential treatment. We didn't get any special treatment. We did not make a dime. We did not make a dime. So going back for a second here. Um, The lack of communication for the podcast, you know, in, in, in regard to the podcast patio was also experienced with the venue change and everything else that goes along with it. We didn't, as sponsors, you would think that we would be among the first to know about any major changes to the event, to the venue, platform, whatever. We didn't know that the venue changed until they was post about parking at the new venue. When they posted about parking and we started to see people, uh, you know, wait a minute, explain this parking situation. How is this going to work? We started hearing rumblings. That was when, and that was like, what, three weeks before the event? Two or three weeks. Two or three. Ago. That's when we found out there was a fucking venue change. Yeah. We didn't know. Nope. No email. No phone call, no nothing. We don't know why the venue changed. Was there an, we didn't know anything. Thank you. Y'all were trying to get questions that day, an hour before your slot. Yeah. We didn't know anything. We didn't know anything. People were asking us about parking. We Jimmy know. parked on the other side of the bridge, like five blocks down. On a side street. On a side street. Right, so we didn't even know about the venue change. Yeah. But we're gonna show up. We're Mel was there. Mel has witnessed every single thing from beginning to end. Okay, you know this is feeling kind of, this is feeling kind of funny, but we're going to show up. We are going to show up. We didn't know what this venue was going to look like we didn't know and understand we weren't vendors so we weren't privy to any vendor information nope. we weren't privy to any vendor information we didn't know you know what changes where where people were supposed to be inside outside we didn't know any of this right but we're going to show up because when we say we're going to do something we do it <coughs> Now we get to the venue, the first night. So we get to the venue. Mind you, what it was it was raining, it was raining that day too. Mm -hmm. Right? Soon as we showed up, it's almost like it's almost like the spidey senses started tingling because as we're going to the event, we're like, something does not feel right about this, right? We, we 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 go down into it like so so this is what happened. I we're, dropped, we're I, on we're on Thursday. We're talking about the Thursday the the warm up to Woolen Folk. Okay, because we had walked. Because okay, yeah, because we had walked. We had parked in front of that tattoo spot on Thursday night and walked to the venue to meet everybody and and all of that stuff. And we're looking around. It's like oh, this is vendors had no information. None. How could people think that we yeah. had more? So we get there, we see everybody's all set up, but this isn't anything like what was explained or should have occurred with the setup. Cause everybody, we find we find out all of this information after the fact, but everybody should have been indoors, right? That was what was the expectation set from the organizers to the vendors. Everybody was supposed to be outdoors. Everybody, excuse me, indoors. Everybody wasn't indoors. 
right? You had, I want to say two thirds of the vendors were actually outside under tents. Some of them didn't even have like protective gear from rain and all types of other things in those tents, right? It was, it was, it was, it was quite unfortunate. And like, even when we got in there, there was a, we spoke to a couple of vendors and you could see in their faces how exasperated they were, and how frustrating they were. We talked to one this that just straight up said, yeah, this is a shit show. From the very jump, it was a shit show, right? The way that they had to, like there wasn't even a, a, a way to have them safely move their equipment and product into the venue, right? So we, we, we walked around, we talked, we spoke, we chatted with a few folks. Then, you know, everybody else started coming in. They, they pay, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. They pay for the special event, the Thursday night event. We want to get to that in a minute. Um, and, you know, the vendors were phenomenal. They were. They in the, were. In the face of what they had to deal with, they were phenomenal. Like they were they were they were other professionals. Um they didn't have to be at all. But they 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 they're professionals, they're business owners, they put on a happy face and greeted everybody as they started to come through. All right? So here's a couple of red flags that we saw after everything started going going down. Well, one, because we're sponsors, we're looking around expecting to see sponsor logos because we know we were sponsors. Magpie Fibers was sponsors. Lamb and Kid was sponsors. A few others were sponsors. But you wouldn't be able to tell they were sponsors because nobody's logo was anywhere. anywhere. You go to the website. Old information from last year. 22 vendors were on there. 2000, the vendors from 2022 were on there. Right? No links to any of the... No links to any of the vendors. Oh, excuse me. So vendor list was... was, was <laughs> the vendor list was inaccessible. Right? The sponsor list was outdated because that was showing the information from 2022. Right? So, all right. As we're starting to walk around, we notice this is not safe because there's wires all over the place. Me and Lewis and I were walking around. Lewis tripped over a wire. And he was like, what is going on? Right? So he picked it up and moved to the side. He's like, we, we, we have to deal with this because this is, this is not safe. The tent, the main tent where the podcast patio and all that, grass, there was mud all over the place. Like it was Thursday night was 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 a hot mess. Somebody got hurt Thursday night. I had to pick somebody up. They, they slipped, fell, hurt themselves on Thursday evening, right? Um, so even even though there were less than. 150 people there Thursday night, we could tell at that point, this is not going to go well at all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Keep going. This is not going to go well. <clears throat> like we, 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 we knew it. We knew it in our hearts, but, and, and Mel, Mel, Mel and Adela were trying to be positive. He's like, no, don't put that in there. I was like, nah, this is not going to go well at all. I, I knew it. Right. Because with 150 people and I'm being I'm being conservative with that. Right. With those numbers, with 150 people, it was it was it was kind of chaotic. Right. There were three thousand over three thousand tickets that were sold for Friday's event. Now, if there was kind of issues with less than 200 people, three thousand people. And it was it was it was continuously raining on Friday. So not only do you have vendors that are in a just in a bad way, especially the ones that are outside that didn't have any protective gear that was I, I don't I don't listen. I don't I don't know. But it was it was it was a hot mess and like we were embarrassed for people, right? Because like as sponsors and not organizers, 
We had nothing to do with planning. We didn't know any information about the event prior to that we, we should have been uh, uh, you know privy to, right? So we're just kind of like there, um, you know, trying to put on a happy face. So everything started. People started flowing in. We're supposed to be with Magpie. And because Magpie, right, I'm just not going to, even though Magpie wouldn't have cared if I ran around the whole event and didn't step into their booth once, right? But we're not like that. I'm going to hang out in the Magpie Fibers booth and meet and greet people who are coming to see the Magpies and who maybe want to see Lola Bean Yarn Co., right? What is that smell? Oh, your booth is next to the restrooms. right in front of the restrooms. Now, we're not going to talk about the fact that not only was Magpie Fiber a GOAT sponsor, which is one of the most expensive GOAT sponsors, but they paid for not one, two booths. Double booth. A double booth. Because they were planning for accessibility, for people to be able to get into their booth, right? You get a double booth, so there's room for people to move around. So they get half of what they paid for and they're put in front of the bathroom. How in the hell, I, how, how do I stand there and try to meet and greet people in that small space and then the bathroom's right there? So now I can't do, we can't do what we wanted to do, which is why anybody who was there, if you noticed, me and Jimmy were standing outside of the building near the doors, that very first building. We stood right there with the hopes that we were visible. People would see us and be able to meet and greet that way. But even that was an issue because the goddamn sidewalk was too narrow. So now you'd be stopping traffic. You'd be blocking traffic. If somebody came through with an accessibility issue, they wouldn't have been able to get through. But still, because people came for community. Oh, I forgot about, so Apparently, the vendors were supposed to be given food vouchers, right? But I don't think every vendor got food vouchers. I want to say that Magpie... I think they got one. They got one, but they had a staff of... Six? Six, seven people. If you're just joining, please buy a badge. These, these, the All the badges from this conversation we are giving to Botanical Yarns. Botanical and yarns. we'll explain more about that after this. But go ahead. So like, and the voucher wasn't but what, $20, $25, bucks, something like that? Like, you was, only one person was going to be able to eat, pretty much. Right? All for that. Um... And even even the whole the vendor situation, the the food vendor, food truck situation was horrendous because apparently there weren't enough food trucks out there to be able to support all of the individuals that attended the event or seating for people who or wanted seating to sit for down anybody. and eat. Yeah, so you have people just standing up and huddled in corners, still raining, mind you, because when I when I went to go get our food, it was raining. Right, standing in line, raining. I'm seeing everybody, and I'm the whole time I'm standing there in line. I'm like, this is a damn shame that people are standing out here in the rain waiting for food, and then there's nowhere for them to go to be able to enjoy their food. There was nowhere for people to park. They started shutting things down. It was, it was a shit show. And we would the, the statement that we put out yesterday, like we we did that as a means of, hey, you know, while we're not responsible, we 
not only we overstand, we don't just understand, we overstand because not only we try our damnedest, we don't all, we do not always get it right. We make mistakes and when we make mistakes, we try to fix them. If we don't even realize we made the mistake and people point it out, thank you, constructive criticism, we try to fix it, right? That's just who we are. We understand, we overstand about people losing money, vendors losing money, because guess what? We lost money too. We understand about the, the you know, uh, uh, how it wasn't accessible to everyone. Because as able-bodied individuals, we had issues getting around. I was slipping, sliding. I can't imagine if you were there was there was a a woman who came to see us who was in a motorized chair, one of the sweetest uh, she people. Sure we was. she was so sweet, was. but I watched her after we had our exchange, and she had to. Uh, we we saw these things with our own eyes, and after it all kind of transpired. We probably would have said something sooner, but our big thing, and I don't even want to say our big thing, because Jimmy, 99.9% .9 of the time, he is level-headed. I am the one, I am hot-headed. I oftentimes react on emotion, and I know because it's happened to me before, I, I've experienced it, when you act on emotion, you might say things you don't mean, you can... Uh, hurt people you can take away from what the real issue is you can make it super personal and we didn't want to do that so it's like okay let's get through the rest of this weekend we're going to go and we're going to do this fundraiser that we do with cc because that is one of the highlights highlights of our year and then we're going to sit down we're going to think about this and then we're going to put out something that is logical that is transparent that is honest based on facts and not feelings because facts and feelings are two totally different things you're entitled to your feelings but your feelings are not facts feelings are not facts right so we went and we put out our statement up uh, i gotta backtrack before we put out our statement so all oh, the misinformation that was going on. No, I reached out. I sent a text message to Felicia. I need to have a conversation with you. It's not going to be a good conversation, but I just want to let you know some things. I didn't even uh, expect the reply back, you know, because I know nobody else got a response. And I figured there was like a whole bunch of uh, chaos and stuff going on behind the scenes. So when she sees this, she sees this. But I did get a response. And on that phone call, I said, there was like, what happened? There were so many things wrong, right? And I want you to understand as a courtesy, I want to let you know that we are making a statement. We don't owe anybody a courtesy phone call, but because of what I thought was a friendship, She fucked up this event, but that doesn't mean she's not my friend. That doesn't mean I'm not going to try to extend some grace and let her fix it. If I abandoned any friend I had because they, they fucked up, I'd have no friends. But, but, I'm going to give you the courtesy because what I didn't want, you know, I didn't want her to be shocked or to be slapped in the face with like, <gasps> Lola Bean. Right? Because of our outside relationship. So as a courtesy, I'm letting you know, we're going to make a statement. These are our grievances. And everything you see in that statement, I let her know. Her response was, I understand. Do what you have to do. And that she was working on her statement. All right? You know, I, I, I hope, you know, get you some rest and, and try to tackle this. I, I hope everything... Works out, we'll talk later. We put out our statement, Me, we did, and Magpie put out their statement. 
which we thought was a reasonable statement. It was an honest statement. We weren't protecting anyone because of friendships. Because this ain't about friendships. This is about business. And if anybody knows Lola Bean Yarn Co., we are about our business. Not only was it about business, it was about community. There have been situations in the past, and I'm not going to bring them up and I'm not going to name names, where people have come out and shared a truth, shared about something that happened to them in the community or by a certain person or people or entity or whatever. And Lola Bean Yarn Co., sometimes when they had nothing to do with the damn situation, lent our voice and our platform to help people reach more people and tell their stories, right? And that's what we were trying to do. We wanted to let you all know, all the vendors, the sponsors, anybody uh, who was affected, who is, is hurting, they're, they're, they're telling the truth. They're not lying. We experienced it personally. Please listen to them and believe them. That's what we were trying to do. We were trying to lend our voice so that people are aware and it doesn't happen again. To then have people turn around and say that our statement was bullshit, that we're just doing this for more visibility. You don't get any more visible than Lola Bean Yarnco. I know that sounds real cocky and real arrogant, and that's not what I mean. Y'all know, we're not, you know, people know who Lola Bean Yarnco, that name rings bells. We know this. So we're not doing it for attention. If I want attention, I'll, I'll, I'll post yarn. That'll do it, right? It's to turn around and have vendors make us responsible for Felicia tagging us in post. Lola Bean Yarn Co. and Magpie, y'all better talk to her. First of all, I better not nothing. I am a grown woman who does what she wants when she wants. That is why I started my own business. I'm nobody's babysitter and I only have three kids. Felicia is not one of them. So first of all, I don't better nothing. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. I am not responsible for her. I am not responsible for her actions. We are not responsible for her actions. We are responsible for Lola Bean Yarn Co. And why are y'all only tagging Lola Bean Yarn Co. and Magpie Fibers? There were other sponsors. But they wouldn't know who the fuck the sponsors are. But you wouldn't know who the sponsors are <laughs> because there was nothing posted about who the sponsors were. Oh, you can't make none of this shit up. I better talk to her again because this apology wasn't it. You talk to her. I aired my grievances, right? And even in me calling her and airing my grievances was still me being a friend. Real friends don't coddle and sugarcoat. If you care about somebody and you want them to do better, you're honest with them and you're true. You fucked up. And that's what I did. So all of this anger, this misplaced anger and frustration and even racism, because I see that in there, in there too. You need to direct that at the organizers. Not Lola Bignanco, not Magpie Fibers, not vendors that maybe you're a little upset with them because they did better than you did. So now they're a target too. That's not what we do. That's not community. It's not. We apologize. for something we didn't do. 
we didn't do anything. We didn't do any. We didn't. We didn't do anything wrong. And I wanted to come on this live. We plan to do like our, our, our recap and all of those things. But I wanted to come on this live and clarify a few things. No, people, okay, people are asking you to speak because she won't engage with community. She only engages with you. Bullshit. And I know you used to work for her. You think she only enga she only engages with me. I don't know if y'all are under the impression that me and her have this relationship where we talk every day. We don't. Every now and again. And nine times out of ten, it's something business related. She only talks to you. If she only talks to me and heard what I said to her, that statement that Wool and Folk put out would have been very different. If she only talked to me and we were such good friends, when people started dragging Lola Bean Yarnco for her shit, she would have came out, damn, I'm the one that fucked up and all my sponsors are getting dragged. All of my vendors are suffering. I need to do something. It's bad enough they lost money. It's bad enough they showed up and had to deal with a shit show. Now I'm, I'm going to delay putting out a statement. And, and have them out here trying to fix shit and, and answer this and do this and, and appease people when it's not their job, but they're doing it anyway, right? I'm going to put out this statement. I'm going to step up and do what needs to do for my friends. I just realized you the one who, who took yarn support and then didn't do what you were supposed to do on your end of the deal and wound up having to send me my yarn back. And you ain't here talking about we asking you because she only respond. Get out of here. I just realized that. Bye. I just wanted to clear up any misinformation. I just wanted to be completely honest and transparent. Lola Bean Yarn Co. offered this to every vendor if they want. Nobody is, uh, you know, nobody has to do this. You're not forced to. But what Jimmy and I both said was, if any of you vendors think that uh, us putting a newsletter together for you and sending it out to our subscribers, our followers, we would happily do that. You just send us a picture, a bio, you send us, you know, if you have any sales or specials or an event coming up, you know, we ain't got a hundred thousand subscribers, but we got about 10,000 people who subscribe to our newsletter, right? And if you're a newer, smaller business and you think that would help you, you send us that information and we'll put out a newsletter and introduce you to our followers because 99.9% .9 of our followers go hard. And they support and they're kind and they're understanding and they love yarn. We offer that as a way to, you know, try to help. One person took us up on the offer and that was Botanical Yarns who lost product. Forget about the money traveling, you know, from the UK who lost product because of, of rain and mud and stuff. So we're going to put together a newsletter. We're donating everybody who's bought a badge. All the badge money from this is going to go to Botanical Yarns because they reached out. And we will absolutely, we have a link. I put a link in my stories. I have to add it to my um, uh, link tree of a list of all of the vendors who were on there. Even the ones who are saying really shitty things about Lola Bean. Because this isn't about individuals, right? This is about community. I don't know what more you want from us. I don't know if you think like I'm, you know, fucking Batman and Felicia's Commissioner Gordon and she has a special red phone that I call and she picks up. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. And that's just the business side of things. 
we're not going to get about how tore up I feel inside about the friendship part of this. When there were shop issues and I jumped up and I created a GoFundMe to help with the shop and any other issues and flying, you know, uh, uh, driving up to this and working for free and sponsoring. And then a fuck you is what I got. Essentially. Essentially, that's what I got. And that's why we didn't comment immediately because... I had to work through some shit. She had to work through, and she's apparently still working through some things. But rightfully so. And that's all I got. I can't give y'all any more. That's all I got. Do with, with that. I know people are going to misconstrue. They're still going to think what they want to think. They're still going to spread misinformation about Lola Bianco and Magpie. And, you know, and I just wanted to air this out and I wanted to be 1000% transparent. Stop acting like Lola Bianco is uh, in charge of anything, got special treatment. I got treated. If anything worse because that was supposed to be my friend. friend yeah yeah that was i was just about to say that that was supposed to be my friend i ain't got shit else to say as we shared before um we're going to because we know that captions, there's some issues with captions. So what we'll do is we'll download the video, we'll repost, <clears throat> and we will ensure that there are captions available for anybody that missed the live stream. So thank y'all. We're going to continue to do what we do for the community. We're going to continue to be about our business and please others. shop the vendors please ensure that you support the vendors as we said before there's going to be a list in our link tree there's there's already been other folks that have published lists of these vendors so please ensure that you seek out those vendors that were impacted by this wool and folk event and shop with them show them your support Help them to be able to recoup some of their losses. And with that, please be kind to yourself. Get at you later. <laughs>